We've showed you videos like these before involving lawsuits and usually involving the Denver Sheriff's Department or Denver Police. The city of Denver paying out millions of dollars to settle abuse claims. 7 News reporter Jennifer Kovaleski always investigating, finding just how much these cases are costing you, taxpayers. Uh, these cases have been happening for years and uh, that's a product really of some poor training and some uh, failure to acknowledge responsibility and accountability. Emily Rice, Jamal Hunter, Marvin Booker, just a few of the dozens of cases Denver has paid big money to settle. Daryl Kilmer was Rice and Booker's family attorney. Is anything changing? When called upon to answer about the brutality, the leadership has denied and delayed and would not acknowledge responsibility at all. We wanted to find out how much these cases are actually costing taxpayers. The city attorney's office providing 7 News with this database, showing all settlement claims sent to the city council since 2004. It shows Denver has paid more than $19 million for excessive force, mistaken identity, and civil rights cases. Does it surprise you to see that the largest year by far was last year with more than $9 million paid out in these types of cases? It doesn't surprise me to see those types of payouts. Uh, the fact that they all happen in one year is really a product of a crisis in leadership in Denver for the past uh, six or eight or ten years. None of us want to be paying out money um, and we don't want to be seeing these cases happen regardless of whether they're big or whether they're small. Scott Martinez is Denver City Attorney. He says all cases come with a price tag. So there is an absolute cost in going to trial where a settlement may be uh, in the taxpayer's best interest, even if that amount is higher. We crunched the numbers further. Not only did Denver pay out more money last year than ever before, the amount was more than all of the previous years combined. City Council approving $3.25 million to the family of Jamal Hunter. You can see Hunter in this now infamous jailhouse video taking a beating from Denver deputies in 2011. A few months later, after a lengthy and costly trial, council approved a $6 million settlement to the family of Marvin Booker. You can see Booker in this surveillance video. He died while in custody at the Denver jail. Officers used a taser on him while he was handcuffed. Kilmer says there's a reason we saw so many payouts in 2014. This policy of Denver to take everything to trial and to fight as hard as they could, no matter what the case was, didn't make the cases go away. They were still there. It just made them much, much more expensive. As a result of the most recent cases, the Sheriff's Department vowing to make changes. Denver police also reviewing its own policies after officers shot and killed a teenager in a stolen car. And just this past week, a case of mistaken identity after a DNA mix-up linked the wrong man to a sex assault in July. I still hear Denver saying that they're going, doing top-to-bottom reviews. They're having study groups. That's talk. That's cheap. I haven't seen any action yet. For us, we want to make sure that, that the, the people of Denver know that each case is going to be treated seriously, thoughtfully, and with the taxpayer in mind. Jennifer Kovaleski, 7 News.